All right, so I went ahead and grabbed you a new bit of battery cable and got it all tightened down. Had to replace this screw here because it was actually ate through by the battery acid. So that's pretty good now. Um, other than that, I did take off this little, I had an amp meter gauge. <laughs> it was hanging right here. And these old Chryslers, the, the old gauge, the uh, alternator ran its power through it and it would overcharge them a lot and it would cause like the burnout like I showed you yesterday and it would cause a burnout of the wires that go through here. Well, somebody had it subwired down here and there is, let me see, right here, there's a red wire and a black wire. If you tie them together like this, it won't ground out on anything, it won't give you any problems. So consider that, you know, fixed. Um, your turn signals kind of work, but they, they need, uh, they don't work that great. So right here, it's a little two prong flasher. You can buy it at any auto store. You just hold the wiring and then pull this can out. And it's just a little, little thing. Just a, it's a turn signal flasher. The only thing I really can't get working uh, immediately is your brake lights. Like when you press the brake, now the lights work, but the brake lights do not work. And it might be a ground. You got good bulbs in there. It might be something that just needs a little bit further looking on it. And I've got these out. These are your turn signal uh, driving lights for the front. They'll go in there. I'm gonna, I've got them soaking to see if I can get the bulb out and see if there's a bad connection there. And there's your lenses. I'm gonna, I'm, either way, I'm going to stick them back in here in a bit. That way you'll have it all together. I got the bezel on there. See the headlight's not in there all the way because the fender's racked. I think, uh, I think it needs to go out a little bit. If I get a chance, I'll run a couple bolts in here. That way you won't be completely loose here. Stuff like that. So. Other than that, you know, rough old car. One peak, one area at a time. And uh, right here, I poked it through. It was a little thin, but I have this piece. I can uh, repair this. It's not immediate danger. It's actually lasts you a long time. And down. There, see that? Right in the middle. It's like somebody uh, put their jack there or something too much, and over time it got a little rusty and it rotted through. But that's in an isolated section as well. We can just cut the bottom of it out and put a new piece of steel in. Neither of those cost a thing because I got all the materials for that. So, no worries. It's just a matter of putting the time and uh, energy into it and a uh, little money here and there and then all that sort of things. So.